In a previous tutorial video, I already showed you how to prove that the derivative of cos of x is equal to minus sine of x. So today, I thought, stuff it, let's prove that the derivative of sine of x is also equal to cos of x, using differentiation by first principles. So as usual, with differentiation by first principles, you start by doing the limit as h tends towards zero of the function with x plus h plugged in, minus that same function, all divided by h. And so then we can use a trigger identity to replace this with sine of x cos of h, plus sine of h cos of x, minus the sine of x still, and still all being divided by h, or as I've written here, 1 over h out the front. And then we can realise that we can factorise sine of x out of this term and this term, which means we can then rewrite it as limit as h tends towards 0 of sine of x, lots of cos of h minus 1 all over h, and then we still have the other term to include as well. But wait a minute, sine of x only has an x in it, cos of x only has an x in it, so it's not affected by the limit as h tends towards zero. So we can take those things as factors out the front of the limits, leaving us with sine of x, lots of the limit of cos of h minus one over h, plus cos of x, lots of the limit as h tends towards zero of sine h over h. But then, if you're studying maths A-level, it's your lucky day, because the question will usually quote this fact and this fact for you, meaning you can just plug them into the result we just derived, meaning we get that the derivative of sine of x is equal to zero lots of sine x plus one lot of cos x, which, what do you know, is cos of x. However, if you're somebody who likes fully understanding maths and learning it for fun rather than just learning it for an exam, you might be interested in checking out my video on something called Squeeze Theorem to show where these limits actually come from. Link is in the description. Check it out!